everyone, it's Larissa in here, Realtor with EXP Realty. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I create my home buyer's roadmap using Canva. Let's go. All right, to start this tutorial, we want a eight and a half by 11 inch document. So we're going to create a custom size, make sure that's in inches, eight and a half by 11. So first I'm going to make the background this off-white beige color. Now what we're going to do is create the roadmap and to do that we're going to use simple lines. So go ahead and press L on your keyboard and that will create a line here. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to create a line here. And then we're going to duplicate this element by either going command or control D, or you can press alt on your keyboard and then just press the element and then drag your mouse down and that will duplicate the element as well. All right. So now that we have three lines here, what I'm going to do is just make sure that they're all aligned. Now we're going to create the vertical lines. So I'll press L again, and then I'm just going to rotate that 90 degrees. Right. Now that we kind of have this S shape, now we can begin to create the pillar points of the home buying process. So for me, I have a seven step home buying process, but make sure you apply this to your real estate market. So first we're going to go into the elements. We're going to go into lines and shape and I'm going to grab this rectangle or square with the rounded edges. And then I'm going to make that white. And I'm just going to create just a basic template for each pillar point. So we have the square there. Now go in and grab a circle. And then I'm going to change that to white as well. White. And now just to make the circle look a little bit more fancy, just type in circle ring into your elements. And let's see here what we're going to use. I think I like this one. So I'm going to change this to green. And I'm going to put that right on the outside of this circle here. Okay. Next up, we're going to go back into elements and we're going to search up a house emoji. Let's call it this one. And this is where we're going to put the number. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to create this to be green as well. I'm going to go back into elements, grab a square here because I want to get rid of that space or that doorway. I'm just going to put that right on top. I'm going to change that to green. And then I'm going to grab both these elements by selecting and dragging my mouse. And then I'm going to group them together. And then I'm going to go into text. Okay. Now that we have the basic shape there for each pillar point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, press shift on my keyboard to grab this white rectangle. And then what I'm going to do is hold the alt key on my keyboard and then click and drag. So then you are duplicating each element. Right now at this point, of course, you're going to go ahead and change out the numbers. So go ahead and quickly do that. So now we're going to go ahead and add in the bitmojis. And if you don't know how to add in your bitmojis, I have a separate tutorial on how to do that. So you can either watch it um, in the cards above or it's linked in the description box below. 
but here I have a special folder of my elements and I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop them where they need to be. Right, now I'm going to go ahead and grab a text box and I'm going to put finish just here. Then I'm going to go into effects and then I'm just going to give it a shadow white just so you can see it just a little bit better. Then I'm going to copy that, Command or Control C, and then Command or Control V to paste it. So there's lots of ways in Canva to duplicate certain elements. So I'm going to put a start here, and then I'm just gonna go into lines and shape, and then I'm gonna grab this rectangle with the rounded edges again, just so it has something to stand out against. And then I'm going to change the color. First, I'm going to just make sure that it's centered. I'm going to change this color so it matches this one. So I'm going to, yep, there we go. So there you have your start and your finish. I'm going to make that a bit smaller. All right now, I am going to add in the rest of the emojis. And I'm going to add some text to the top and add in my real estate logo and my uh, real estate brokerage logo. Sorry to interrupt, but if you have made it this far into this tutorial, this means that you, my friend, are indeed a real one. And I want to thank you by giving you free access to this Canva template. So comment down below this emoji here, and I will be sure to give you the link to this template. In return, all I ask is that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so I can continue to make more videos just like this. All right, back to the tutorial. So once you have all of that information in there as well, I also am going to add some text for the beginning and end part of my emojis here. And that's pretty much it for the baseline format for this template. Now again, at this point, all you have to do is just add in the text for each pillar point, which I'm going to do right now. And this is what it looks like when it is completely finished and beautiful. That is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my other Canva real estate related tutorials right over here. And until next time, I'll see you all next time. Bye!